thousand dollars from Confucius. Shame! You can save out your personal safety and freedom of speech for just for just two dollars per capita. Shame! Shame! This is the value that Peter Hoy and the UQ administration put on our safety, our speech, and our freedom of assembly. This is your vice chancellor, your university accepting blood money, decoration, and awards from the Chinese government. A government which commits mass cultural genocide against the Uyghur Muslim minority in China, amongst yeah. other atrocities. Yeah. Why have the university been silent on our concerns for a week after the initial protest? We know exactly why. The Confucius Institute on campus yields so much power over our university that it can't abide any criticism against it. They can't stand up to the violent pro-CCP counter-protest because to do so would be a liability to the university's relationship with Confucius and China. Even after yesterday's statement, there has still been no direct contest or condemnation of the group who have, have, have been confirmed time and time again as the aggressors. Hoy claims that the way in which we disagree decides the quality of our society. On that point, he is right. Which is what makes us particularly curious that the UQ administration has issued demands to and made implicit threats against the event organisers. Attempting to restrict this peaceful protest in an, unapologetic, uh, an, an in unapologetic attempt to reduce visibility of the demonstration and complicate access to the area for protesters. As Eleanor Roosevelt so aptly enunciated in 1948, we must not be confused about what freedom is. Basic human rights are simple and easily understood. Freedom of speech and, free, and the free press. Freedom of religion and worship. Freedom of assembly and the right of petition. The right of men to, to be secure in their homes and free from unreasonable search and seizure and from arbitrary arrest and punishment. It is in no small part for the trampling of exactly those freedoms that we find ourselves here today. On our very own campus, the free speech of peaceful students was cut down with violence. Of course, we don't need the Chinese government to listen to the demands, nay, the needs of either oppressed group. But we do expect Peter Hoy and the UQ administration to listen to us when we exercise our right of petition. We do expect them to protect students on campus. We do expect them to put principle before profit. We do expect them to decry violence on the awful chance it occurs. And we do expect them to offer up even a shred of transparency and accountability of Hoy and UQ's relationship with the CCP. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Emily.